about your your journey doing HMOs and uh, where where you were when we first met? Well, I think I think we'd made a start, um, and I'd like to think we were doing reasonably well. But we were a bit lost in the wilderness. Uh, we needed to professionalise the business, uh, and we're still still sort of working on that. And we needed to open our eyes and be a bit more broad-minded. Um, so, uh, from uh, the last sort of three four months, uh, the key things that we've got. Uh, is now we've got a much more uh, focused plan and strategy about where we're going. Um, We've had our own minds opened up about how much we can achieve and and certainly feel challenged and though we've got a much, much broader outlook about where we're going. Um, And we've started to professionalise the business, um, which feels really, really good. So um, we feel like we've made a lot of progress I think quite early on you, you said to us, stop treating your business as a hobby. It's not. It's a brand. You've got a brand. You've got, uh, you've got to realise this and really systemise uh, and put processes in place. And uh, some of the stuff we're doing with that is just taking us forward in leaps and bounds. Uh, it makes me feel, you know, I am more a businessman and not just uh, putting a few hours out there um, as a bit of a hobby. So it, that's been fantastic, but also um, the group of people that we're working with have got such a diverse background, they've got such different levels of what we're doing. Um, every time we come together we, we get this explosion of ideas and you know, I always walk away thinking, hmm, I've got to try that, I've got to do this. Uh, the other uh, sort of useful aspects are it's a great little community, there's always someone that you can ask a question with, but the other thing that I think that, that gives you the edge, uh, in my opinion, my humble opinion is, you're a practitioner uh, and it's great that we can sit around the table and say, Wendy, this is happening, and you say, well, actually, I'm doing this, and you are still very much involved in the business and very much aware of what's going on around you, uh, and that, uh, that to me, just gives you the edge on, on some of your competition. So, in terms of the bottom line, has it made a difference to your bottom line? Because that's what I think a lot of people will be asking is, okay, so you've had a great journey, okay, so everything's been you know, really cool, really enjoyable, but is it making a difference to the money you're making? Um, I would say yes. I would say we're now looking at, um, we, we were looking at property that, uh, sorry, we're now looking at property we wouldn't have looked at before. Uh, we're certainly in the middle of a process of refurbishing a property, which will be a six bedroom property, which would have been in the past a four or a five bedroom property. So sweating the asset is definitely uh, definitely improving the bottom line. But just things like being more efficient, uh, understanding uh, our money and making sure that we're, we're aware of what money we're making and what we're doing with it. Um, and also just simple things like you know learning accounting systems. And, uh, so. It, what we're getting is is a very practical stuff, as well as uh, developing more complex and, and efficient strategies. And what, what's your business called? What's the name of it? Uh, Quality Yorkshire Homes. Uh, and we have a website now. If, uh, if you look us up, you can see us on the website. Right. We've got a Facebook page. Um, and uh, you know, if you want to, if anybody wants to make contact with us, please do. Excellent, Dave. Thank you so much. It's been fantastic working with you the last thank few you, months. Many you. more to come. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Go on, Charlie. Yeah.